saved from the rotting collection of the Salt and the Brunei, the SLK 36, never seen before on US soil here for the first time. And guess what? It actually is rotting. I'm gonna check up on Julio, see how he's doing on this wide body, right hand drive AMG Stratton car. Julio, how you doing, my dog? Good, bro. So, you're working on this? Stratton vessel, Stratton, bro, get it right. Talk to us about the Stratton, bro. You got it right. It's looking shiny. Wow. <laughs> you know what I do, bro. So this one is actually pretty dope. So as I was doing some stuff on the interior, I found a magazine with this car in it, right? So it's like, oh, man, I got to get this car right. Got to get it to that magazine look, showroom look. Oh, boy, let's <laughs> talk about the engine. Ah, I got some paint, right? You want to talk about the engine? Let's open the hood up and talk about what? it. Let's go. <laughs> So what do we have here, Wesley? We have the AMG 4Cam. It's a 4Cam, right? It's the M117. This is the 6.0 Holy Grail. That's what you think. Is it? <laughs> You're incorrect. What is it? This is actually a 4Cam, but it's a 5 liter. Oh yeah? So yes. is it early? Yes, this is the early one. It's not the regular M M117, obviously. It's, it is an AMG motor, a very special motor. And uh, we'd love to uh, get more information on it if anybody has information on it out there. But we will be doing a deep dive on this car and we will, co we will collect all the data that went along with this build right here. Because yeah. it is a very documented it's car. It's really 500. Yeah. So, uh, all right, guys, we're going to head now to... This we're going to head over to Wesley's Bay right now and see what's yeah. been going on with the ABC exclusive. Let's see. I mean, Let's see if it starts. Tell us what's been going on with that car. We got the AMG van here from Kosovo. This one's really banged up. This one's gonna be a fun project for Robert. He's gonna have to paint it purple. And uh, I wanna paint it the same color as uh, Picasso, but maybe a little brighter. ABC exclusive. Hunix Special. Right hand wide body. My favorite Fintel. Never to ran again. Another Fintel. Taking an L. And now this. The 300E ABC exclusive straight from Japan. Tell me what's going on. What happened with it when you got it? Uh, car had it run. A lot of people have tried to mess with the car. Uh, a lot of people worked on it. No one could get it going. So figured out why no one could get it going. No fuel was getting up to the front of the car. There was a lot of issues. Uh, air flow meter plate had been tampered with, so it wasn't centered correctly, so it wouldn't calibrate or read the mass air flow sensor. It wouldn't read the correct air ratio to fuel. Uh, fuel distributor plunger was also stuck. They had all the idle air hoses underneath to the, um, to the idle air valve and to the intake were broken and ripped open. So they were leaking air, so it would never idle. Also did fuel pumps at the back and a fuel filter because the gas is orange. So what happened? You got it to run at least? Got it to run, got it to idle, and then now I need to go through the fuel, uh, through the mixture because it still, it still won't, uh, it won't stay running. Um, right. I gotta figure out why. Why I won't stay. Okay. Here it is, guys. ABC see, exclusive four door sedan. Runs. All right. Let's see if she runs. Good. Oh. She's running. They couldn't get this to happen in Japan for months and months and months. They threw all the mechanics at it. Look, he's not even touching anything, and it's running. Wow. ABC exclusive, running. <laughs> good job, man. Good job, good job. We got it, we got it tuned it and calibrate everything. All the fuel system is pretty much new, but that doesn't fix your problem. So we got to tune it up and make sure she has enough power under load. Woo! Sounds Woo! healthy. None of that. Well, that's a start, guys. ABC exclusive, back to life, back to reality. Let's go. All right guys, welcome back once again in the kingdom. You already know what it is. Patina Collective, the biggest ever do it. We're back at the stadium. Wow, wow, wow. 
guys, guys, arriving straight from Japan. A very, very special package, especially this white card. This is a W140 S600 Lorenzer, but it's very special because it's on um, bags, guys. Crazy. So let's see what we got. So, Vico, what do you think about the Lawrence, sir? Oh my god, I'm so excited, guys. W140 on bags. I've always wanted a car on bags. Never did it, never got one. I drove many times, many hours to look at some. Never picked one up. First car on bags. All these Benzes, first car on bags. Let's go. I'm bought by accident. Bought by accident. Thank, so thank, you, thank you, Mike, Mike in Japan. Thank you, Mike in Japan. <laughs> and thank you, Japan, for creating this car. Let's see how it goes. We might have to change the wheels on it. It has got incorrect wheels. But uh, we're going to definitely drop it to the ground. And uh, make it do what it do. Back, pop them up, then they come off, pop them up. Oh, cool. Cool. Yeah. Where the little girl? That's what Once again, another beautiful day here in the Mecca, even though it's raining. I mean, we made it rain even more. We made it rain. Benz is on them. 500E, straight from Japan. Another special wagon, straight from Japan. Another special 560 SEL, straight from Japan. And another Lorenzo, straight from Japan. So, W140, mind-boggling car, guys. It's on bags. You see how it's sitting all crazy. We're gonna get it right. Wes is gonna dive into it. But just another day, the Tina Collective, doing what we do best. For you guys, once again, let's go. Tina boy. All right, guys, in the special W126 AMG straight from Japan, and we got the special in dash television. And it, guess what, guys? It actually works. Look at this. Boom. It's on right now. And we're going to change the channel. You can see right there. It takes a little time to get brighter, but all the channels work. So, yeah, guys, always innovating. Tina boys always bring something new to the channel. You already know what it is. I'm going to watch something right now. I'll be back. The company that's making these toy cars is copying all their cars one by one. And another one with the red top, the black one. And with the sticker on the windshield, hey, everything. Who makes it? Look, they're copying our cars, bro, one by one. Look. With the sticker, the gold sticker, everything. They're copying the who cars. Who's the guy? The company, Tamrac. I'm gonna hit him up. Tarmac. Tarmac. Yo, Tarmac. Whoever's at Tarmac. We know making you're, these cars. We know you're watching. This one as well, with the same wheels. So it's cool, because <laughs> we have the real version. But yeah, I just bought it last night. So that car. Like, same kit, same, they just didn't get the wheels right. I don't know why they didn't put the right wheels on it. Tarmac needs to step up their game. Let's get it. Guys, welcome back to the channel. You already know what it is. Patina Collective, another day in the kingdom. Today we have another special, rare unicorn. I know we say this, but guys, that's what we specialize in, is unicorns. That's all we want, that's all we look for. The first in the collection of its kind, and it's a, a very, very special model. But right now we got some very, very nice gifts that came to the kingdom of Boca Raton. If you want the address, guys, DM me. Ooh, here we go. So, this guy is called Trap Art. And then, boom, look at this, right? And what you got on the back? R129. You already know, man. I would do that. Look how they did the finish, the shimmer. Mm. Nice shimmer on that, you know? They got that platinum finish on it, you heard? Next, we got Trippy Pins. And he made a couple items he wants to share. Let's see what we got, guys. Since discovering your channel, I have become a big fan and wanted to pitch some merchandise concept for the collective and upcoming museum. So we will get into this, guys. Respect this. Respect the hustle. Respect Shout the out to Brendan. Team. You know what I mean? Shout out to everybody out there doing their hustle. It's more hats. All right. So boom. Tina Collective. You know what I mean? The regular. You should drop that. That's a nice one to drop. And then we got the, you know what I mean? The NWA style from the 90s. Yeah. Tina Collective. But this one right here, this is that vintage. You know what I mean? Death Row era. So shot the trippy pins. We got Rick Ross's face. <laughs> you getting his hair cut with all the cars. <laughs> DMX. That's hard. R.I.P. We got Biggie. We got Pablo. 
Rough Riders, Home Hearts. They're just showing us the quality of his work right here. And look, this is actually Nas. This is crazy. This is actually Nas and it says I Am on the back. It's from the I Am album. So he's doing cool stuff, man. Guys, tap in with Trippy Pins if you want to do some business with him. We will definitely be doing some pieces for the Patina Collective. And uh, shout out to everybody around the world, showing love. Send us some stuff. Uh, ask for the address, Patina Boys here now. You gotta have the biracial family in every advertisement now. Is what it is. All right, guys, here it is in the flesh for the first time in the Patina Collective SLK 36. You've never seen it. Straight from the salt in the Blue collection. The SLK, the SLK was never made into a 3.6. So, this is a very rare car. Not sure how many they made. Right hand drive, it has red carbon fiber made just for the family of Brunei, the royal family of Brunei. It's the first SLK in the collection. A non-haram. One of three Brunei cars, but one of two that you'll see on the museum floor. Yeah. It's exciting. So, here we go, guys. One more Brunei car and one more non-runner from Brunei. Let's go. Let's, let's push it outside. Let's hold it. It's in the farm of This is the worst one ever. Holy this is the worst one ever. You know, you heard the rumors. You heard the rumors about Brunei. You heard the rumors about the salt and letting all his cars rot away. But well, here it is, guys. A testament to how thorough he was with rotting his cars. <laughs> Man, what happened? An art form out these of guys, it. these guys gave us a fake. Uh, these guys gave us fake uh, pictures or what? I've never seen a car this bad in my life. What you oh, thinking, bro? We got bro? some work to do, Ooh, man. You gotta put a hazmat suit on before you get in this bitch. Back. Second biohazard. Biohazard <laughs> number two, guys. From Salt in the Brunei himself, man. Why are you sending us biohazards, bro? We ain't got no detailers out there. Okay. So, M104, 3.6. Guys, AMG. No, anyway, what is this? Air intake. Uh -huh. And it was specially made for this car. This is not a Mercedes-Benz part number. This is an AMG part number made by hand. Also, the uh, radiator shroud is made for this car only because of the bigger engine. Bro, how do you even sit no in there? No other SLK has realize, these two bro, parts. Wow. And look, That's look at this point here. Look at, at the long tube headers. Oh, yeah. This is even so uh, a, a, a another upgrade. Like Some more spaghetti. Right. Do you see the long tube headers? Julio, what is your plan Guys. with this rotted? SLK 36. So this is by far, I'm not even gonna lie, this is probably worse than the biohazard with the rat, guys. So this one is the same thing, gotta gut it, take the seats out. But if you look at it, the mold is so caked, I don't know how long it's gonna take to really break it down and get it all disinfected. But we're gonna go in, do what we gotta do, and get it right, man. It'll be in the showroom soon. You'll see it cleaned up, looking good. Watch. My boy was smoking loud. Okay, that's all we know. Lucky nigga executed him. He's going crazy. Yeah. And then he was trying to cover up the scent with this. The Canadian real. Jupiter. Nice. And cover up his breath with this <laughs> when he gets pulled over. Yeah, crazy! Very nice one. It must be some special car. Very special. <laughs> he knows. <laughs> very special. Try this on eBay. Yeah, we'll do that. What would you do to start First this? thing I'm gonna do is Put the ozone machine in it. This right. fact, try to kill as much of this mold, and then I'm gonna go ahead and spray it down, steam it. I gotta take these seats out and just basically go over everything with uh, all purpose, you know, disinfectant, steam, wipe wow. it. Just try to, it's a process of just trying to get all this mold up. It'll wipe out, but the thing is really killing it so it doesn't come back. You know what I'm saying? So we got some gas in it. What else do we need? What else do we need to check before we start starting it? Uh, we check oil, check fluids, just make sure it has okay. the we'll pop the hood. Turnover. Yeah, pop the hood. Right. The engine bay is actually pretty clean. If you look at it. All right, we're going to try to start it. Yeah. Let's see what it does. Okay, we have a jump pack? Belt's on. I, I don't. I don't have a jump pack. We need pack. a jump pack. 
Makes the belts nice and tight. Yeah, yeah hydraulic fluid, like the top of steering. This is probably the first right hand drive SLK in the US. Great food. You think so? You think about it, yeah, because they're 98. So it's the first year you can bring them. Check on the belt, make sure it's nice and tight. You look right here, you can see me pulling on it. It's nice and tight, it's really tight on there. Making sure it's on all the pulleys. Making sure nothing's loose to the touch. We've had cars where you start and they don't have the right belt on there and they fall off. Alright, you all ready? Fluids are all shot. Fluids are filled. No, she's not giving me anything. Wait. Put the key in the door and unlock everything first. Okay. Aha! Uh -huh. Good job. Yeah, that's what happens when the battery's too stop, dead. Stop, stop! Now do it again. Might be the battery's too dead. gonna start. There's no gas, so maybe it's just time to Get a starter fluid. Keep stopping. The good part is, it's an M104, so it's not that complex. No. That one's all good. You see the other one? No. No, it's good. Burn, 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 burn. It's all good. It's all good. Pull this back. What was that crack? It's a decoupling. Decoupling, yeah. How much fuel do we get in the car? Good amount. What's that, Julio? It's in the picture. So the carbon fiber held up well. Oh, car parts are probably fine. It's just the resin they laid on. So top. Yeah. it's good for car parts, but they'll put a summary in out of it. And we gotta be careful with the interior; it doesn't get wet. I think another company did it first. But the first one. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So it's, I think there's a major. Thing. It has a fuel pressure regulator that maintains all that up front. The windows going up. The windows going up. Really Theoretically, you could you could take it from one of our cars if you had to. If, we had to, if it was yeah. stuck here, we had to move it. Yeah. Are you replacing the fuel pump? Uh, not yet. I'm going to inspect to see which ones it has. Gotcha. You know, this is a different engine for the car. I want to see if they themselves updated the fuel pump supply. If they left it factory. You know, because it's not the right engine for the car, technically. Pull it, and then it goes down. And then that should come out right there. Okay, yeah, so it has the single pump. All right, now I can let Bernard know and we can go from there. Order it? No, nah, I know, I can tell him which one to order. It's just the one single with the 90 degree. Uh, the, the, car, the last year, the more alive than I saw. So every year I take my kids on a trip. And this year, last year we did Norway, we did Sweden, this year they want to do Finland. And I was like, all right, it's kind of a bit of a haul to get out there. Not really a lot of flights in the US there, but we went out there anyway. And we also had the chance to do a little business out there. We actually found a very unique rare car only being offered to people who are within the Scandinavian countries. And that was this Carlson CM60, a W220, uh, 6.0, so it used to be a, a 500. They bought it out to six liter. Um, and it's a fully tuned Carlson car, Carlson interior. Beautiful, beautiful vehicle. It's rare, it's hard to find good Carlson cars. So if you know any Carlson cars out there, please let us know. We're always picking them up. And another example of a museum piece for the collection. Even though it was only available to people in Scandinavia, we found our boys up in Norway to hook it up, secure the deal, our boy Pal and the team out there. So thanks so much for doing that. And uh, I had a chance to take the family to see it. We got to drive around a little bit. Beautiful car. What do you think of the car, Griff? It's the top 15 car you have. <laughs> thanks, appreciate it, man. So nice. So, so JP, tell us about the the car and, and kind of how you got it and what made you interested in it and how long you've had it for, a little bit about the background. Yes, I think I have had it about uh, five years now. I have imported it from Japan and uh, I like it a lot because you can't find, this is so rare car, you can't, yeah. you can't find it anywhere in the world now. And I think there is not so many of these made in Carson, Fair. maybe just a few. And you're telling me you were importing a lot of cars, Mercedes is what you're, you collect, yes. so tell us about that a little bit. Yes, uh, I have imported uh, 168 cars from Japan, and uh, I think these rare models only, and uh, maybe maybe 10 BMWs, but the Merz is... 160 Mercedes and only 10 BMWs. Yes. So, you know we say BMW is haram, but Mercedes, <laughs> uh, we, we like Mercedes more too, it's okay. That's a good ratio, 150 to 10. Yes, That's yes. good. That's good. 
it's amazing how we're in such different parts of the world and just even the, the way things kind of come about, where we are in Florida, um, where you are in Finland, uh, the whole life that kind of leads to the stuff, how we're both involved and love these cars, that the community can bring people together like this in order to save something that we really care yes, about. Yes. It's so cool. It's so, so cool. It's really cool. And so I want to thank you personally for, for working on this and saving this car and bringing so many cars here from Japan and uh, keep up the good work and, and thank you so much. And you're part of the Patina Collective already, whether you know it or not. So, so thank you so much, my friend. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All in all, beautiful place, beautiful beaches, great people, and some really neat Benzes out there. A couple more shots for you of, of other Benzes that we've seen on the streets out there that I recorded. I got to check out some other cars and people that we bought cars from. Drove out to Turku. Saw our boys at Uvi's Garage out there. Um, big up to the whole team out there. Amazing, amazing setup they got in one of the coolest old cities in Europe. And what's amazing about Uvi's Garage, they actually helped us source one of our first Koenig specials, a 560 SEC, beautiful car, uh, gorgeous red interior, uh, nice Blauschwatz, amazing, amazing vehicle. And our first Koenig that Vico and I brought into the collection, so we're super hyped about that. And our first car from Finland. We also made a video of it, so check it out here about the first Koenig special that we ever brought in the collection. Got to see a bunch of museums that were inspiration. Actually had an amazing time at a tank museum in Finland. They have 150 tanks. We think we have 300 Benzes a lot. They have 150 tanks they have on display. All German tanks, uh, Russian tanks, American tanks, British tanks. So one of the biggest tank museums in the world is hidden in the middle of Finland. So if you're out there, definitely check it out. Checked out a few different cities, saw a pretty badass Brabus G-Wagon out there in the streets. Um, actually not G-Wagon, we saw a really badass Brabus ML out there, wide body ML on the highway. We saw a really dope SLK out on the streets. We saw a uh, 124 Estate, the station wagon out there. So there's a lot of good Benzes out there, good Benz culture. Some people knew who I was out there, so big shout out to all the Finland people and my Finnish people out there who uh, bring the Benzes back to life and take care of them. All right guys, as you may know, me and my dog Spitta Currency got the song Purple Picasso out now, going crazy. New album called Vices, produced by Harry Fraud, top to bottom, instant classic. So please go out right now, stream it, listen to it. But yeah, my dog Spitta finally pulled up to the kingdom, finally pulled up to Boca Raton, to the showroom, I mean to the Mecca. And uh, you know, we had to do what we had to do. We shot the video with the Purple Picasso. We got it done. We had sent the car to our guy Robert to get it done up real quick right before we get the video done. And it came right in time for the video. Video went flawlessly. <laughs> you only had to lift it up. What What's up, brother? How you doing? Come on. What is that 600, man? Tell somebody to bring me that cup. Mm -hmm. from, uh, from up the spot. Are yeah, we gonna go right see it? I'm, I'm doing the hard, I'm doing the soft top on it. Ah, oh, man, I want a trick. Yeah, that's what I was looking for. Yeah. That's what son is doing. What I was asking about. Yeah, what's the hard one tonight? Hard one tonight. Yeah, that's bullshit, man. Time, like this, yeah. even neutral. Push yeah. it out the way, like a little bit. That makes it way more fun. Yeah. Yeah. That makes that shit way more fun. Gotta be practical. Damn. Crazy. Damn. Go in, go in, go in. You got it. That, 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 that. Crazy. This car was hard to get out of Japan. For real, they gave us a hard time getting it. Oh, I've never seen the black. Z, you seen the black one? <laughs> we only got red. Oh shit! Look, 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 look. Z. <laughs> Damn, this is the stay wagon. Three thirty-six. Oh, it was this one. Yeah. My shit was on the other beat. Oh, for real? Yeah, yeah that's that shit was white yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, it was for the other beat. That shit worked. I had two verses. It was two verses on that, that shit. Worked. But then when Benny got yeah, on, he was like, man, just leave the Benny verse there. So all that right. made it rain from the yacht, all that shit was on the other verse. Yeah, that was on that other piece. That was on that was hard as fuck. Yeah, it was. Uh, cool. I got to put bro on this Harry Fraud record so they know like what no one. If he stopped the Harry Fraud project and put bro on it, that must be a rapper. You know what I'm saying? Like, joints and that's why I told joints. you, I was like, nah, like they need to look at it differently. You know what I'm saying? We don't put out nine joint albums. 
Yeah, you well, do, you, do, you do when you got to put your bro arm on it. You got to. Yeah, you got to. Yeah, you got to. You, you, if you the one, you the boss for real. You go in there and you yeah, fucking you make, make it shit happen. Yeah. 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 You telling me the color good. So I'm like, yeah, I know. Yeah. It's fucking great. And I'm just hitting switches and riding. He pulled on side with my brother car. It's on fire. Get out. So I get out the car. I'm looking for the fire extinguisher. He tried to tackle me. It's just a car. Let it go. I'm like, no, bro. I'm going to put this fucking fire out. And we driving the car home. He wanted me to let the bitch blow up. <laughs> and then he couldn't talk for like five minutes. He sat on the curb and was like, nah, I've been through a lot. Like, he didn't want to film that no more. That was the end of the rap show. No ride for like a week. He was like, nah, I'm cool. He was shooting it. That's what shoot, that's what shoot right. ever seen. Yeah. yeah. The music got the hairy fun. I put a spoil on that motherfucker. I put quiet exhaust on that motherfucker. Fuck feeling like it, I'm actually a boss of this motherfucker. Ross threw a car show on his lawn, we sent calls to that motherfucker. Please don't stop, got them chrome hammers on my drop top. Peace signs on the hood on them. Drug war is hot, rolling paper full of pot. Pocket full of fun coupons, that's what I got. Nobody's ever done it, bro. In, in a short period of time like this, young cats, cool motherfuckers, not like some weirdos. Man, this shit is fucking Facts. I was telling Daniel, like, when we move out of here, we gotta cut a piece of cement out this bitch. Take a piece, take a piece of the dark. Enlighten you all Dipping in plush benzes My knowledge is extensive I snapped the park the spar up in the trenches I landed in something expensive Your girl fuck with me cause I'm eccentric When the band's got talk, bands talk They pay attention Cooling specials from Japan Andre the OG as my lungs expand Fully automatic weapon reach In the rapper's van Look how I turn all my fantasies Into daily plans Brought the 80s back Park pre mergers on Miami sand Had to buy it twice my bodies, that's my Miami vice. That's my bitch for life. So, uh, he came through, man. He showed love. You know what I mean? He walked around the showroom. He's seen all these unicorns he's been seeing on the channel for a long time. Very nostalgic for him. Uh, he was loving it. We got to go ride out in Boca. He's seen all the, all the all the spots in Boca that he's seen in the videos. So lots of love to my dog Currency, man. It was a great, great time. Look out for the video. Purple Picasso dropping soon, guys. Let's go run it up. Patina boys, let's go. Bumper? Here we go. Bumpers. All those guys hitting me up about rare AMG bumpers. There they are. <laughs> <laughs> guys, we are picking up this rare Patina Collective Edition DTM 190E Evo. SGS. Mimesi. 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 Hooked it up. Got it done in no time. Really nasty Not messy. With, with uh, the wraps. So, guys, as we walk in, I see a 221 Benz. Yeah. This came out great. You guys are really good with the the Urdu doing the Arabic yeah. writing. That yeah. was fun. Yeah. yeah, that was good. Yeah, we left with your with thought it was no, that's cool, fine because you know? that would leave this off. It would look off. Yeah, it's good off center. 